Hi, I'm Mikkel Becker, and I'm here with my senior dog friend, Oliver, who actually was a dog that I trained all the way back when he was a puppy, so it's really neat to see him into his golden years. And as a dog enters their golden years, it's not just the grain muzzle that may be the only change that you notice. Instead, there are a lot of changes that can accompany an older age. And this can include changes in their behavior, changes in their movement, and even changes in their relationship with you and with your family. Some of these changes can be normal, but a lot of them are things that really need to be addressed and that can be issues of concern that really impact their well-being. Here are some common changes that you may expect as your senior dog ages, as well as the ways to meet their needs and help them live their happiest, fullest, best life possible. One issue that affects a lot of senior dogs is having a limited temperature tolerance. Circulation can become less efficient in dogs as they age. And dogs oftentimes lose that core fat and muscle that helps their body to stay warm in the cold temperatures. It's important to limit their exposure to the cold, as well as to help them when they're going out and braving the cold to feel more comfortable and to still be able to keep their body temperature up. One way that you can do this is by having an easy to put on and easy to take off vest that helps to keep their core body temperature up and still allows for free movement as they walk. Not only are senior dogs more likely to be sensitive to the cold, but they can actually be more sensitive to high heat conditions as well. To help your senior dog feel more comfortable when it's hot outside, offer ongoing access to temperature controlled areas. You also want to avoid taking your pet out during those high heat times of day. And always allow your dog plentiful breaks to rest and to seek shade as well as ample access to water. And as with all dogs, avoid leaving your senior dog unattended in the car. Temperatures can sort of dangerous levels in mere minutes, even with the windows cracked or rolled down. If you've noticed your senior dog slowing down, it's important to not just chalk that up to old age. Instead, there can be other reasons why your dog is slowing down, and it doesn't have to be that way. While some slowing down can be a normal progression of the brain and body as the dog ages, a lot of times those changes that we see in our dog actually are due to underlying conditions that really need to be attended to. Our dog may be suffering from an underlying medical condition, they may be suffering from pain, or different cognitive changes that can occur in the brain as the dog ages. It's absolutely essential to have that ongoing veterinary guidance and management of pain or other underlying conditions that our senior dogs may experience. Rather than just once yearly wellness visits, for senior dogs, it's important to look at doing twice yearly visits to the vet to ensure that they have ongoing oversight, that they're feeling okay and actually are at their best both physically as well as emotionally. Older dogs can and should have the help they need to be able to overcome any of those fears they may face. Unfortunately, time doesn't heal all wounds or change all bad behaviors. Instead, when behavioral problems are left unaddressed, a lot of times they progress and they worsen rather than become better. As a dog gets older, their brain can become less flexible and less resilient to change. And as a result, it can be harder for a dog to recover from a stressful situation. Or a situation that may have only been a mild concern for our dog when they were younger, can all of a sudden take on a really serious note and become a big stressor for them. Rather than leaving things alone and hoping it will just get better on its own, it's always important to address any behavioral concerns that we may have in our dog at the earliest signs. And you can seek out professional help with a veterinary behaviorist, a certified applied animal behaviorist, an applied animal behaviorist, or a reward-based trainer that's working with your fear-free certified veterinarian. Cognitive decline is an issue that impacts a lot of senior dogs. Similar to Alzheimer's in humans, dogs can experience that mental decline that can impact their behavior, their relationship with their family, and their mental processing. In short, senior dogs have a lot of love and life left to give. And we can help add value to their life by attending to those age-specific needs and changes that our senior dog may experience. For more ways to help improve your dog's life, you can go to fearfreehappyhomes.com.